Hello everybody, this video are for the classes who have signed up for our DIY Bee House Workshop. And now in this video, I'm just going to quickly go over how to properly cut your bee house container. And so I'm going to go through two examples here in the video. I'm going to go through one with this plastic container here and another example with the large Tetra pack here because either of these containers are fine for the DIY bee house construction. Really all you're looking for is a waterproof container that can easily be cut. And the ideal size of those containers would be about the two liter size. So like the two liter pop bottles are perfect or this 1.75 liter Tetra carton is also okay. Uh, this juice container here is actually a little bit too big. This is the 2.84 liter container. Um, so this I would say was actually a little bit too big, but I wanted to use this as an example because of the shape of it. Um, but really when you're deciding on what kind of container to use, again, you just want something that's going to be waterproof, easy to cut, and the minimum length or height, in this case I'm going to say length because I'm laying the bottle flat, the minimum length of the bottle at its shortest edge. And so when we get to this, we're going to be cutting the bottles on an angle like this. You can see the line I've drawn there. And the minimum length of this shorter edge, so here's our longer edge here, then it goes down, here's our shortest edge. The minimum length from the short edge to the bottom has to be no smaller than six inches. So that's why we recommend the two liter pop bottles because it gives you a little bit more flexibility when you're cutting. But you just wanna make sure that the distance again from your shortest edge to the bottom of the bottle is a minimum of six inches. All right, so those smaller pop bottles might work if you're extra, extra careful cutting them, all right? I'm going to first show you an example with the plastic bottle here and depending on the age of your group it is sometimes helpful to draw a line like this on the bottle and the key here is when we're cutting the bottles or the tetra packs or whatever it might be you don't want to cut straight across like this you actually want to cut the bottle on an angle like this and this is where drawing that line is sometimes helpful. So you're gonna cut it on an angle, as you can see. And if we, if I turn the bottle, you can see where the line is traced here. And so then we're gonna come up on that angle again, all the way in the top, like so. We'll talk about why that is during the workshop. But again, right now, we just wanna get these cut. And so teachers, what I recommend doing is giving each student just give them a little bit of a head start with something like uh, an exacto knife and all that you have to do is again maybe somewhere along that line or if you have no line somewhere near the top here just poke a starting hole in each bottle poke a little starting slit like that can you see that there there's a slit right there and then students you can just use any pair of scissors like this or even the smaller classroom scissors work fine too and now with that slit in there you can open your scissors you can stick one blade through the slit like so and now just snip around following that line or if you're going to eyeball it very carefully eyeballing around. So again, we're going to come around the bottom, we're come back up to meet back at your starting point. Like this. And so again, when you look at it from the side, get to this top piece, you don't need this, you don't need the lids, these can all go to the plastic recycle. Okay. And so what you should be left with, now I didn't, I didn't cut on the line exactly, but you can see how I have a long edge up here and a short edge down here. This is what you're going for. And on both sides, so this is what it looks like 
from this side, right? We have our long edge and our short edge like this. So if you have a plastic container like this, this is what you're going to do. Um, if you have a label on your container, you don't need these. You can cut and remove these as well. Like that, if you have some of this glue or, you know, like sometimes the labels are just still stuck to the glue there on the side, that's fine. Just try to get most of the label off and this will make it um, easier for me to paint like this. And so this is what you want your plastic bottles to look like, whether it's a juice bottle like this or the two liter pop bottles. Now, if you've brought in a Tetra pack like this, you want to go for that same angled cut. Um, but because this is a square, you're just going to do it a little bit differently. And so the first thing I want you to do with your Tetras is open up the top. So the part that has the lid, let's just open this right up. Like so. Okay. And again, we want to go for that angled look, but we don't need this cap. And so what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to, I'm going to draw a line to help. I'm going to make this my long edge here again on the left. This will be my shorter edge down here on the right. And so all you need to do here is cut a diagonal across like this. We're going to go straight across here underneath the lips. We don't need this. This will all be cut off eventually. And then you're going to angle back up to your longer edge like that. And this one, teachers, you don't need to use the knife. Students should be just able to take their scissors because it's cardboard, cut down, cut straight across under the lid, and then back up like that. Again, this you don't need. Put this into the, re the mixed container. Recycle, okay, with the lid. Don't need those. And this is what your final product should look like. So again, we have our long edge, our short edge. The distance from here, the short edge to the bottom needs to be no smaller than six inches. So with my Tetra Pak here, right, that's eight inches. That's fantastic. And the finished product is going to look like this. All right, now with these ones, you know, you can't peel these labels off. That's fine. I can paint over that just as is. But this is what you want your end product to be after you have cut the containers for your bee houses. Once your bottles are cut, the last thing that you can do to prepare for the workshop is to put your name inside the bottles. All right, eventually we're going to be painting the outside. Do not put your name on the outside, put your name on the inside. And to do that, you can just take a piece of tape like this. Masking tape works just as well. Carefully rip it off. And again, place it inside here or just inside there. Thank you so much, everybody, for getting uh, collecting all those bottles and doing all this prep work for me and I will see you very soon for your DIY bee house workshop. Take care everyone.